Welcome to TechPresents with Damir. In this video, we are going to learn how you can import data from MySQL table to SQL Server by using Import Export Wizard. So first of all, what we need, we need a table on MySQL side. Here I'm connected to the MySQL Server and my schema or database name is the TechBrothers IT. The table I'm going to use is a total sale. So we can run the query and take a look what it has. So this table has uh, some uh, records. Give me a second. So we have to say use this database and then run the query. It should show us all the records there. Okay. So ID, sale person, first name, last name, product name, item sold, and all other information is there. So that's what we will be using. To load the data from MySQL to the SQL Server, we need a user on MySQL. So this user will be used to read the data from the MySQL table. So we will say create user and then a username and then uh, the ip or, or the name of the computer from which our import uh, export wizard will, wizard will run um, uh, here i am uh, running from the same computer that's why i'm calling it localhost otherwise you will be providing the ip from which uh, you are going to run your import export wizard okay identify by the password that's your password and here I said that grant all on tech brothers this is schema or database dot asterisk means on all the objects so I'm providing all the permission on this database you can always say grant select on this table uh, and then you will say the uh, username at the end you will just flush privileges so refresh the permissions and then finally you will see if you want to see what permission this table uh, user has you will just go ahead and run show grants for tb localhost so it will show you all the permission it has and uh, that's it so once you are done with this uh, script then you are ready to go and import the data to the sql server i'm going to put this uh, script in the description so you can use from there okay so now we are here in the TechBrowser IT uh, database. I'm connected to the SQL Server. So if you know uh, don't know how to connect, or you're gonna go to connect, connect to the SQL Server name of the SQL Server, and then connect. Then you're gonna go to a database in which you would like to import the data from MySQL. Here I'm gonna import into the TechBrowser IT database. I'm gonna right click here, go to the task, go to the import data. I'm going to hit next and here I would like to select the data source. So right now it's a .NET framework data provider for MySQL. That's what I selected and I'm going to provide some information. So what I'm going to provide here, first of all, I need to provide a, okay, here is the port. Our port is a 3306 on which our MySQL server will be connected. So our name of the host is server is the local host as i said that uh, you might have ip on uh, of the server where uh, your mysql is installed so you have to provide that okay now here we have to provide the database name so tech brothers it that's the name of a database on mysql just to let you guys know that this is not the uh, see right here this is the database name so in my case uh, my uh, MySQL server uh, database name and on SQL server database name are same, but in your case, they might be different. Okay, so provide the name of the database on MySQL from which you will be reading the table. Okay, next we will be providing username and password. The username is TB and then our password is DBA123. Okay, once you do that, we are gonna hit next and then we are gonna select the destination. Here I'm going to select uh, SQL Server Client, uh, Native Client 11.0. Okay, it uh, sel uh, selected the, the database already because uh, when I start the import export wizard, I right click on this uh, um, database. So, so it uh, already choose the tech browser IT. Now I hit next. And uh, here it is not giving me a list of the tables to copy. So it is asking me write a query uh, to specify data to transfer so I'm gonna go ahead and write the query so I will say select star from total sale that's uh, my query so if you want to see a little bigger I just want to paste it here so you can see okay this query is going to run against our MySQL table 
So this is the query is going to run on MySQL and get all the data and that data will be imported to the SQL server. Okay, we are good here. Now I'm going to go to the next and here I can provide the destination table name. Right now it's collected the as the query. Okay, so I'm going to call this one uh, MySQL to SQL migration or import or whatever. Okay, so that's the name uh, I provided. If I will go and say edit mapping, I'm going to see all the definition here, create table uh, definition. You can see that by using uh, edit SQL here. So you can see it is creating a table with the, all those columns uh, that query output is uh, providing. You can change the data type if you want. If it, you feel like this is this has not recognized the correct data type, you can change it. But in my case, it looks fine to me. I'm going to hit OK. And uh, then you have multiple options. You want to drop and recreate table, enable identity insert, and all those kind of things. And on top, you can see your source is query and your destination is uh, MySQL to SQL import. Uh, that's the name we give to the table. Now hit OK and uh, we should be all good. We want to preview. If you want to preview the data, it is uh, this is the data it is selecting. So it is showing you all the data, uh, at least a few records uh, to take a look like how it will look like. Hit OK, hit Next. Now uh, you can take a look on this uh, summary here. Uh, what it's going to do? So this tells us like, OK, your destination is this one. Uh, what uh, you know other um, just SSIS file where it is coming from and all those kind of things not that important But it's okay. You can uh, hit next and now there are a couple of things you can do it here You can save the package and run on schedule or run later if you don't want to import the data right now Maybe the, your table is too big Maybe it has a 20 million record and you want to run in the evening instead of right now so you can save your package if you want if you will um, Click here, it will give you option like hey, you want to save the uh, sensitive data. I just leave this one, do not save sensitive data uh, because we are using password and all that. We can, if you want to save sensitive data, so you can uh, put this one, it will ask you password for your package, and then uh, you provide where you would like to save. Maybe I will say file system, and then it will ask me in giving the folder name where I would like to save. But in my case, I'm not going to go with that, uh, uh, you know, saving the package and running it later. I'm going to go ahead and run immediately. So I'm going to go ahead and hit uh, next and uh, finish here. Now it is uh, doing all the validation and everything. And finally, it is copying uh, all those uh, records from the MySQL to the SQL server. Okay, now it's done. We can uh, close it. And uh, here we go to the tech versus IT and uh, here we see the tables and that's the table the data is imported we right click on the table and say select top thousand rows now we can see all the data has been imported from MySQL table to the SQL server table so this is how you will use the import export wizard to get the data from your MySQL tables to the SQL Server tables. Thank you very much for watching and I hope you will uh, uh, like and subscribe my videos uh, and I will see you guys in next video.